Thank you very much, Fred. Guys, thanks for coming out to the couch. It's a pleasure to be here. It's my first time over here in Perth. We're here for the Wild West Comedy Festival for the Magician's Double Set. I'm performing with Adam Marta. So we've had a fantastic couple of shows, but you guys seem like you're gonna be a fantastic audience for this whole episode on the couch. I noticed that we're gonna have a lady sing on the end there. Can you do me a favor? Hold one hand straight up in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, I need a volunteer. Thank you so much for having your hand up. Give her a nice round of applause as she makes her way up onto the stage. Why not? Fantastic. I'll get you to come to the left-hand side, if you can face the front. First things first, your name, please, ma'am? D. D. Very nice to meet you, D. Are you married or happy? Both. Both. That's fantastic, isn't it? Married and happy in the year 2010. Beautiful yes. thing. Can you do me a favour? We just need to check and make sure that you're suitable for the show. At the moment, I think you're going to be perfect, but we'll check it out. If you just hold your hands for me like this, then hold your hands for me like this, and you'll notice straight away we've got some lovely jewellery here. Mick, can you take one of those rings off for me, please? I can try. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Who gave you this ring? My husband. Your husband. Is your husband here? He is. He is. Which one is he? He's the one with the red. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. It's okay. This is by far the quickest trick in magic. Just say go. Go. Done. That's it. Thank you so much. You can go and sit back down. No, stay here. <laughs> stay here. <laughs> I, I suppose you want your ring back. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid it's no longer here. It's in a small wooden padlock box sitting in the boot of my car outside. Will you go and get it? Well, well I can't do that because we're doing an episode of The Couch here. So instead of going to get it, I'll give you something maybe. So if we can't find it, yes. then you can actually find it yourself. You'll see inside my hands. It won't make much sense at the moment but it will in a minute. You see, that's my ring and so is that. Nothing else in my hands, yes? No. Do you want to feel my sleeves? A lot of people think things go up magician's sleeves. It really does not. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Inside my back pocket back here, though, oh. I do, however, have my car keys. Yes. Funnily enough, attached to my car keys just happens to be the ring that you just gave me, I'm pretty sure. Yes? This is normally an applause point, audience. Woo! Oh, well done. But I understand. I that as well? <laughs> <laughs> but I understand. Whenever you're watching Magician, you're either stunned in silence or you don't like the trick. And I'm sure it was the first one. But I have something maybe different for you. Something extra special. A gift for you, maybe. Inside my pocket, I have a packet of cards. Every magician in the world has at least one card trick in their performance. Yes. I'll give you a quick demonstration of what sleight of hand is. A full deck, ace through to king, all the four suits. I have often wondered, though, how I can entertain people just with 52 little pieces of paper. Mm -hmm. I thought if I could stand out the front here and do something like this, that would be entertaining. Yes. But as you can tell by all their faces... They're not laughing. They expect so much more out of magicians these days. So I'll get you to select a card. But believe me, I'm not going to influence her at all. You can take out any particular one you want. Go for it. Any, you don't have to take that one. But it's very good that you did. I'll get you to select one if you wish. Now, all these cards are indeed different. Perfect. Now, if you don't show me, but show the audience if you can. Wonderful. We'll place that card. I'll make sure that everybody sees it. We'll get a nice close-up there on the camera if we can. Make sure everybody sees it, everybody, everybody, I mean everybody. We'll place that straight back into the centre there. Easy way, hard way, how are we going to do it? Hard way. Hard way, make me work for it. Two shuffles, nine cuts, the card should produce itself. This will be the second one. From here, nine cuts. Once, twice, that makes three, that makes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cuts. Your card, ma'am, here. Done, yes? Yes. Yes. Now, as an audience, I expect so much more than, our oh, magic boy, that's a nice trick. We want them to roar with excitement, so let's ramp it up a bit. Clean or disgusting? How do you want to do it now? Disgusting. I'm with you. Let's go disgusting. It's far more entertaining. Can I ask a personal question? Um, is it OK? So if I ask your wife a personal question? Thank you so much. Have you had a shower today? Let me think about that. Yes, of course. Yes? Very important. Just hold one hand out flat for me, please. You smell fine, don't worry. But I should also be able to smell her on the card because that card was in your hand for a while while you were signing your name, yes?
Now that, disgusting. Now that is disgusting. Unfold it, show everybody. That is disgusting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that was the card that was just selected. <laughs> you show the cameras just there. Perfect. And as I said to you, ma'am, you can have that with my compliments. No, I'm just joking, that's disgusting. But I said I would give you a gift. And unfortunately, I don't have many gifts with me, but I can give you is the best present of all. You can have one little kiss. Oh. Give her a nice round of applause as she makes her way off the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the studio, the audience, all you guys out there, thank you for having me on the couch. Back to you, Fred.